Yo, what up, what up, it's the Kid CJ City, so we back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about five summertime designer fragrances, all right? If you guys are out there looking for summertime fragrances and you guys wanna explore the designer, you know, aspect of fragrances, this list is going to be for you, okay? I'm going to be giving you some of my personal favorite fragrances that I'm actually wearing, you know, during the summertime. I'm gonna be sharing those. If you guys wanna go out there, check it out, get a sample, you know, buy a bottle, feel free but I'm telling you all of these fragrances are CJ City approved all right let's just go ahead and jump right into the list we're gonna start off at number five here okay and the reason why this is number five is not because the scent profile or anything like that when it comes to designer fragrances you guys you know one of the most appealing things about a designer fragrances is going to be the price tag all right you know niche they seem to have high price tags this one is a high designer price tag it's so crazy man but you know it gotta make the list because i've been wearing it man it's some good stuff so number five is gonna come from the house of louis vuitton and this one is going to be called california dream all right this is a new fragrance it just came out and boy have i been getting some serious wearing out of this fragrance right here man but it is Louis V, all right? So that's why it's, you know, on the high end of fragrances. You know, it's a high-end designer, and that's why the price tag on here is pretty much ridiculous, all right? That's why you guys can see I bought me a partial bottle, all right? And the good thing about these, if you can find somebody selling a partial bottle, you don't have to pay full retail. And then also, if you have the bottle, you can go down to Louis Vuitton, and they'll actually fill this up for you. You know, they'll refill it for much cheaper than the retail price. So I feel like, you know, that was a good deal for me buying a partial. If you guys wanna try it, I suggest you go out there and get a partial because full retail is gonna be like $260, all right? This thing is super expensive. But anyway, what does it smell like? This right here, nice, bright, lively citrus fragrance and it's really good man let's go ahead and talk about some of the notes that you get in this fragrance in the opening you're going to get mandarin orange all right that's a key player here in this fragrance and you're also going to get some pear in this fragrance all right very very key player in this fragrance you're also going to get some musk in this fragrance and then you're also going to get something called amberette all right so to me when I first uh, spray this fragrance, like I said, nice citrusy fragrance. I honestly got like this, this lemon lime type of uh, bergamot, you know, opening. That's how, you know, lively it was, man. How zesty this thing was. And I don't know if you guys have tried it, but it, it immediately reminded me of Creed Pure White Cologne. I'm like, yo, this thing smells like pure white cologne. What's going on here? And then in the dry down, it started to like smell like something else similar. And I just couldn't put my finger on it, man. I was like, yo, this smells like something else. But basically what I get with this fragrance is almost like a fusion between Creed Pure White Cologne and Lalabo another 13 man if you fuse those two fragrances together that's basically what you get with this thing right here nice lively citrus in the opening i think they might be hiding some notes here man because all they're talking about is the citrus is mandarin orange but i'm telling you man i'm, I'm getting me some bergamot or something like that up here i did the note comparisons between this and a uh, creed pure white cologne and guess what pure white cologne has the mandarin orange and it also has that pear in it okay so that's basically what i'm getting from the fragrance that's reminding me of that and then also i did some comparison between you know this fragrance and another 13 and they share that amberate note okay so that amberate type of you know note is going to give a nice musky sweet nature to it all right so you get orange you get um some like i said some bergamot you get that pear note in here because that is very prominent in here and then you're also going to get that musky sweet nature as well so very good fragrance i am enjoying it the price tag is just a little high so that's why it's making it number five on the list let's go ahead and move on to number four here this one is going to come from the house of jean paul gaultier and this one is going to be called Intensely Fresh. Now, this actually made my springtime list. I don't think it, it, it uh, actually made its way onto my summertime list. I'd have to check that, but I might stand corrected because I was supposed to only be wearing this thing for spring, but it made its way all the way into summer and I've been reaching for this thing, man. This stuff is good right here, I'm telling you. I don't really know if it's an underrated fragrance or if it's a slept on fragrance or anything like that because I don't know necessarily if it deserves to be rated higher, but I do know a lot of people don't really talk about it, but I like it, man. This is a good fragrance. Basically what they have accomplished with this fragrance, they've accomplished a nice fresh slash 
sweet type of fragrance, man. And it just works very well, man. Basically, what you get in the opening is you get that mint and you get that lavender, you know, kind of typical from Jean-Paul Gaultier. But I feel like, you know, they added some like some mandarin orange or some orange blossom or something like that in this fragrance. All right. Because that's what you're getting in the opening. And I kind of feel like that's where that that, uh, you know, that citrus nature is kind of coming from. But that orange blossom, I feel like it adds a little depth to this thing as well, man. And then also in this fragrance, you get musk. You get, you know, um, some sandalwood, and you're also going to get some vanilla, man. That's just crazy how they threw a little vanilla in this summertime fragrance. But I feel like that's where that sweetness is kind of coming from. So basically, like I said, you get a nice, fresh, you know, nature in the opening with the mint, the lavender, and then the orange blossom. And then I feel like that orange blossom kind of goes off into the dry down, gives it nice depth, and that's accompanied by the vanilla and the sandalwood and the musk. It's a really good fragrance. I really like the fragrance, dog. You know, I honestly, you know, feel like this is a, you know, a fragrance that people should actually go out there, try, sample, you know, get your nose on, because I actually enjoy the fragrance. They accomplish a nice, sweet, citrus, you know, fresh type of balance with this fragrance, and I really like it, man. So that's gonna come in number four, man. Let's go ahead and move on to the number three fragrance here. And this one is going to come from the house of Christian Dior. And this one is going to be called Dior Homme O. Okay, so I'm hearing this fragrance is getting discontinued. So if you guys have tried this fragrance, if you guys have been, you know, just kind of procrastinating, you've been hesitant on pulling the trigger, you might want to pull the trigger on this fragrance now because I'm hearing it's getting discontinued. And you don't want them discontinuing this fragrance and then trying to bring it back, you know, as, you know, Dior Homme O. 2025 or something like that and doing that nonsense that they did with the 2020 and completely removing you know the iris and just putting you know uh isoe supra and having this thing smell like nothingness man you don't want them doing that you want to get this right here because this is some good stuff and i didn't really think i would be wearing it during the summertime like that because i personally i think i thought it was just way too much iris but out there in that sun out there in the heat it actually just like adds the the thickness and the depth that I actually enjoy, man, and I actually like. So basically what you get in this, in this fragrance, you're getting your bergamot, you're getting your grapefruit in the opening, and then you're getting coriander, but basically you just get iris, all right? So yes, this is an iris bomb, but it's accompanied by that bergamot and that grapefruit, man. So you get a nice fresh opening. You know, it's just not a straight iris bomb, you know, like the others from this house, man. But I feel like the, the iris is there in the summertime, it's nice out there, man. It, it adds a nice depth and a nice thickness to it where it's not just a complete citrus fragrance that just dies off. This thing is actually going to stick around. It has some stand power. And then that opening, I like the opening. I really enjoy the opening of this fragrance. But basically, you know, iris with a, a, a citrus, you know, opening, man. You guys got to check this out if you haven't already. I'm telling you, try this Dior Homme O. Oh, nice, fresher version, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to the second fragrance here on my list. And this one actually a newer fragrance 2020 release here man and this one is going to come from the house of ye saint laurent and this one is going to be called y o fresh okay you know a fragrance that i sampled ran through the sample had to pull the trigger and get me a full bottle and i'm glad i did because this fragrance right here is really good i'm enjoying this fragrance nice designer summertime fragrance you guys will be wearing this for sure and this thing can pull in some good compliments all right if you guys are familiar with why just the regular why i feel like this one kind of leans more towards that type of vibe it doesn't really lean more towards you know the y edp and you know the Y Live, I believe it was. I feel like those had more apple in it, man. This one right here, it doesn't have that much apple in this fragrance. I actually don't think it's any apple in this fragrance. In the opening, you get nice, uh, like a lemon, zingy, ginger, pink pepper, lively opening, all right? So you get like that lemon that adds that freshness, then you get that pepper and that ginger that adds that zingy nature to this fragrance. And then it kind of goes into like the same aspect of Y, the original, with the, uh, I forget what kind of floral note it's geranium. It's geranium. You get a lot of geranium in this fragrance, and you know, uh, it just goes into that type of realm, the original one. But, you know, I like it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Gucci Guilty Black, just a little bit in the mid, but I'm telling you, this is a good summertime fragrance, good designer fragrance, nice price. Staying power is pretty good. You're gonna get about six to eight hours with this fragrance right here. 
I like it. Summertime for sure is approved by CJ City. Designer, nice stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the number one fragrance here. And, you know, I had to switch it up just a little bit. Maybe just because I got tired of the other fragrance. I don't know. I don't really think this is the best one from the house, but this is the one I've been wearing the most. So this one has to come on the list, man. And it's so crazy because I never thought that this would happen. But this comes from the house of Versace. And this one is going to be Versace Pour Homme, number one. All right. If you guys know me, you know how much I like my Versace Mantle Fresh. That, to me, is the best from this house, Versace, man. And I wear that a lot. I wear that a lot. But for some reason, I sprayed this just to, you know, give myself a little break. And I haven't looked back, man. I've just been wearing a lot of this stuff right here, man. I really enjoy this. Basically, you know, just think of ultimate citrus, ultimate freshness in the opening is what you get with this fragrance. And then you're going to get a nice Tonka bean type of, you know, um, you know, profile. I know there's a lot of notes in this fragrance. I'm not even going to attempt to break down all of the notes in here. But basically, just think of like a nice lemon citrusy fresh type of opening with some tonka bean that's basically the way that you can describe this but it has depth it's definitely a compliment magnet people will give you compliments with this fragrance summertime beautiful man this thing will last you in that high heat it's not just gonna fade because it has nice depth to it man and the price on here is beautiful i like to preach to go out there and get your retail bottle of these versace fragrances so the citruses don't sour out you can get a nice fresh batch same thing with this one man take the hit go out there buy this one retail all this other stuff you could try to get discounts but i'm telling you with this one man fresh you want a fresh batch man but this coming in at number one man i don't know if you guys can see the dent that i've been putting in this thing but you know, I've been wearing a lot of this stuff lately. So a nice designer fragrance coming in at number one, man. That's going to be Versace Pour Homme. These are my five designer summertime fragrances. These are tried and true. You know, if you catch me, I'm going to be, you know, smelling like this. And I will be smelling like some niche fragrances. I have the niche, you know, dropping as well. So make sure you guys tune into that, you know. And I'm going to be talking about the five niche fragrances that I'm also probably going to be smelling like when it comes to summer but as far as from the designer house this is how it is man this is my summertime list this is what i'm smelling like man so drop those comments down below let me know if you guys have tried any of these fragrances what do you think do you you know you know can you validate what i'm talking about or do you guys have your own opinions that you want to suggest leave those down in the comment section below but you already know what it is i'm cj city i'm signing out until next time i appreciate all the love peace